Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with another interesting scenario. Today's scenario is not a very lengthy scenario, but it is very interesting. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. In today's scenario, we are going to prevent deletion of record. Basically, we have a custom checkbox field on account object, which indicates that whether an account is active or not. If that checkbox field is checked, it means account is active. And if it is not checked, it means that account is not active. So what we are going to do today, we will check that whether an account is active or not using this checkbox field. And if an account is active and a user try to delete it, then it should not get deleted and an error should come stating that you cannot delete an active account. In short, we are preventing an active account record from deletion. It's time to code, so let's go to VS Code and create our trigger. Let's name it prevent deletion trigger. First of all, we have to provide object name on which we are going to create a trigger. So in this scenario, we are preventing account record from deletion. That's why a trigger will be on account object. So let's write account here. Next task is to identify event. Basically, we want to check that whether an account is active or not before its deletion. Therefore, we have to use before delete here. So let's use before delete. Now let's apply a check to ensure that our code should only be executed only on before delete operation. So for that, we have to use if condition and inside if condition, we have to do like this trigger dot is before and trigger dot is delete. Now whatever we will write inside this if condition will only be executed if these two will return true and these two will get true when user will try to delete account. Now we cannot have trigger dot new in before delete trigger because trigger dot new contains current version of records and if we delete any record then that record is no longer present in database and therefore cannot be accessed via trigger.new. That's why we are going to use trigger.old. Let's apply a null check on trigger.old. Dot is empty. And iterate over it. Now this is the main part of our trigger. So according to our requirement, if account is active and user try to delete it, then we have to show error. And we are checking that whether an account is active or not by using this field. So let's apply a check that if this field is true or checked, let's copy its name and paste it here. It is true, which means if it is checked and user try to delete that account, then what we will do, we will show error message like this, add error, you cannot delete an active account. Basically, whenever a user click on delete button to delete an account record, then our trigger will be executed and it will check the checkbox field. If that field is checked, then an error message will be populated and if it is not checked, then the user will be able to delete it. Let's save it and deploy to our work. So it is successfully deployed. Now it's time to check working of our trigger. So for that, let's create an account. Click on new. Name it test active ACC deletion and see by default this checkbox is checked. Let's save it and now let's try to delete this account. See the error message has come because checkbox is checked which means account is active. Now let's uncheck that checkbox. 
click on save and now let's try to delete it if our trigger is working fine then this account will be deleted so the account has been deleted which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys i'll be back with more interesting scenarios thank you